So in the header section, just keep it really simple. Avatar, name, what you do and who you work for. And then we have a nice drop down menu and this is heavily inspired by the whole Twitter UI or all the social feeds that you see. And then the first thing you want to show off is your work and you can keep it really simple and if I click it will take you to the project page and in here you just got some really nice brick screenshots. Now if I take you to another case, let's say for example this one. Here we have some more text so you can have the link, services, industries and dates and here we're talking about the problem the solution very simple and at the end the impact that your work did and you can see there's some very subtle effects nothing too overpowering and then from here I think we got the different sections that is very common quite like a CV so you talk about your experience some testimonials that you probably have in LinkedIn your process Values, I think, is a very important thing to talk about. So later on in your career, if you're starting out, maybe you're not thinking about values, but as you become more mid to senior, you start to think about your values and if this aligns with a company that you work for. This section is the stack, and I think this is pretty good, just so uh, users can see straight away what you use. And then, of course, we have the blog and if we subscribe, it's just a very simple modal and you can connect this to MailChimp and different subscribe services. So if I click on one of these, this is a CMS collection. So there's actually two CMS collections, which is your work and the blog. Now, again, if you're a beginner and you just want something very simple, you could easily have one work um, and then delete most of these different sections that you don't need. And then lastly, we have the contact section, which I think is just as simple as it can get. And then you can get the free template. And this is a link to Lemon Squeezy, where you just put in your email and you'll get the free template in Framer. And now there's a nice tiny effect here. You might not have noticed where you basically scroll up and it changes to a minimal header. And this is just for less distracting, you get to focus on the content. So I think that's a nice subtle way of showing the menu. Let's go on to a variant two. So this is even more simple. This is replicating the card look and you've got the horizontal scroll. If we click on projects, this is a nice modal window and you can horizontally scroll and this will just take you to the project page. And then here we have the modal window and all the others are pretty much the same. You have a nice modal window for the sidebar version. So this is replicate, replicating quite a lot of app UI where you have the menu on the left. So the way this works is it has a scroll to section, which is another nice feature in Framer. Very simple. It's a smooth scroll. I think this works really well with this type of menu. And then we go to sticky nav. So this one, the difference with this is it's got that nice nav. And then here you get the different modals as well. You might have noticed the background is a nice glass kind of background, but hopefully it's not impacting too much on the readability or accessibility of the text. Okay. So the last one is very similar to the other card, but you don't have the horizontal scroll. And now one thing to test out is actually how this looks on mobile. So I'm just gonna bring this down. Let's just say around, around this size, okay? So it's good to test this out. You can see that this takes the full width and height, of the cards, and I think that works pretty well projects as well you can horizontally scroll and I think that works pretty well so let's go backwards and let's see how this works so here this is in the way but this you can delete this 
and here you just horizontally scroll as well and I think that works pretty well even though this really simple um, design it actually does take a lot into account all the new app UIs and how to use the sticky nav sidebar is slightly different but if you click here you can see the nice side menu we go to card small this will be very similar to variant 5 and then finally the first variant where you have a nice drop down menu you scroll and you've got that nice sticky nab at the top so that's it for now please leave a comment let me know what you think about this design remember you can get this free in the lemon squeezy link so you can go here you can get template you'll sign up if you do decide to go the custom route as an example you can get your own domain so we go to domains currently this is your own frame of the website let's say you have a portfolio you could put your name and but if you do want to go custom you will have to then go to the professional plan so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video